Allô C'est juste pour la main. Allô Non, c'est pas grave. Un canci, on a aussi. Depuis le coup de Rosy. Et Chilio. Alors, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Central Committee meeting. Among them, the crisis in the health sector, as manifested in the ongoing doctor strike, the crisis of funding in our schools and colleges, and the scam of subsidized fertilizer. The committee meeting therefore took stock of the state of the party and that of the entire nation. A key issue canvassed at this meeting is the dire state the party finds itself in as a result of a government instigated denial of funding. The Political Parties Fund was established to enhance democracy by promoting active participation by individuals in political life. Among other things, it is meant to cover election expenses of the political parties and broadcasting of the policies of the political parties. Unfortunately, this fund has become the death knell of parties uh, it was meant to support. Since coming to office, the Kenya Kwanza regime has pursued a deliberate policy of denying funds to political parties, effectively crippling their operations. Key activities, including the planned elections, party elections, become challenging to plan and execute because of the regime's refusal to release funds to political parties. Clearly, the aim is to kill all political parties except UDA. We demand, therefore, that the funds be immediately released to parties in amounts and the manner stipulated in law. Be that as it may, the committee has resolved to kick off the party grassroots elections on the 27th of April 2024. The exercise will be staggered as follows. On the 27th, we shall have the exercise in three counties, namely Kuala, Busia, and Siaya. Then on the 29th, we shall have grassroots elections happening in Kajiado, Migori, and Wajia counties. And on 30th of April, we shall have the exercise in Kisi, Vihiga, and Morano counties. A further timetable covering the next batch of counties shall be released in due course. On the building, rejuvenation, and reforms, the committee agreed on the need to continually grow ODM into a party that is strong both structurally as well as ideologically, with the ability to provide effective leadership on local, national, and international affairs. In this regard, we agreed to continue with the ongoing membership registration, while at the same time working on the grassroots and national elections. With pride and satisfaction, the committee took note of the ongoing preparations by various leaders and members to vie for various public and the UDA party. The meeting further noted with concern what appears to be coordinated attempts to derail the implementation of the NADCO report. It is becoming apparent that some, if not all of these court cases, are state-sponsored. If indeed elements in the regime are having second thoughts regarding proposals they signed on to out of their own volition, they should come out clearly to say so instead of sponsoring these cases in court. On funding of education, we are of the view that the government is taking teachers, parents, and learners for a ride. To date, the government has not submitted capitation for Form 1s, even as they move to the second term. That means schools have had to find alternative ways to provide tuition, accommodation, and meals to thousands of Form 1s. Teachers and parents fear that the Term 1 money may never be submitted and could end up